Golly, that is a big shallow water fish. Look at that freaking monster, Bill. Do not lose it. Scoop him, dude. Oh, God. So we're going to do a little intro after the fact. We got out here today. Um, we were going to do a shallow water bite. And that's exactly what we attempted to do here. And we did it. <laughs> These fish were exactly where Chris said they were. We didn't do an intro because we had to grind for bait. It took, I don't know, probably an hour or better to get bait. Maybe yeah, closer to two hours, huh, yeah, Chris? that was a brutal bait run. Spring transition, we were 57 degrees uh, this morning when we started. It was, we're coming off a cold spell. It's supposed to be 93 today. I think we probably got close to it, uh, so. Transition means they're coming out of deep water, moving up shallow. They've been up shallow now for about two weeks. They don't all do it the same time, but they are making their move. So that's the bite we're, we, uh, we targeted. We didn't even look anywhere really besides shallow. We went to the north end of the lake. We got up in the muddy water. Uh, we marked fish right around the channel. That's where we started. Heck of a day. Man, we had a heck of a day. We hammered them. Yeah, that was a great time. It's always good when you can catch some big fish up shallow because they they really show off when you hang one like that. And it, they're fun up shallow. So you guys stick around, stay tuned. It's a freaking heck of a show coming up. Yeah, we had a great time. I appreciate Bill and uh, stay tuned. It's, it's a pretty good show. All right. Go to work way to do it man this is what we're about to throw on we are in 31 feet the water temperature is 56 degrees we're gonna drop on this piece of structure that's about a six foot hole the grass just lit up in it that's money bait right there guys Woo! now nice. we need about 12 more of them I'm going to talk a little bit about getting bait and the grind that goes into it with the electronics and everything else. Sometimes bait is super tough and this was exactly one of those days where it's like Chris says, you have to grind it out. And that's what Chris is doing here. I feel sorry for his shoulder. It's got to be fried after all this casting, but bait was super tough. It was scattered out all over. We had to look. We motored around chris was throwing the net constantly it was just one of those days where you got to get out and uh really pay attention to your electronics that's always been the problem with me in the past is uh i didn't pay as close a attention to electronics as chris says that you have to and he's exactly right um this bait was in little pockets where it was six foot and if you didn't land exactly right on the bait um, you weren't going to catch them. You might get one or two. And we never did just clean house that day. We ended up getting enough bait to make it work. But if we'd have given up, we would have never had the trip that we had. So you guys stay tuned. Can't wait to share it with y'all. The river behind us. River's behind us. This channel is the river channel. To wear a jacket this morning. It's pretty chilly. I'm already warming up. Hey, Got Polar Bear, how's it going? Ain't no joke. We're gonna try to get out Chris is anchoring us. And I'm knocking stuff off. Here we go. Chris is waiting for the uh, boat to blow back around. And he got the anchor out. There it goes. That rope pulling tight yet back there, Bill? Yep. Sure is. All right, let me, I'm going to tighten that. You're one. tight. Try to get as many baits out of these as I can. Yeah. 
it's warm in there. Chris uses a double anchor system. He anchors on the front and the back. It keeps the boat from swaying. You saw him deploy those and tighten them up. Really good for keeping the boat from swaying and the rods from going slack. And uh, you can see here we're getting everything baited up, casted out. Uh, it's a little bit of a chore, man. Chris puts quite a few rods out here. But the more rods you got out, the more chances you got at big fish, right? So that's our uh, thinking on that. We get a, quite a few rods baited out here at this initial spot. There's a small eight foot channel that goes on to a two to three foot flat in this area. We're going to make a move. Oh, oh Chris. Got him. <laughs> he heard Maybe you we'll say stay here a little longer. <laughs> he heard you say he was going to move. We'll be set. You know it? This is for all the people that say I never keep any catfish. I'm about to keep some. Woo! This is going. This is going. Uh, going to be blackened by Killer B tonight. <laughs> Chunk of drum. Oh, look there. Get him, Chris. Got him. I didn't have the hind side on that time. I can't tell. He's swimming to the boat. He's dinner. Here he comes. Hey there, buddy. Oh, that's a nice one. Never mind. We can't get him for dinner. fish. Yep. Here, I got you, Chris. That was a freaking cool one. Here. <laughs> That was his twin. I'm pretty sure the other one's about this size. Oh, yeah. Boom, baby. <laughs> As usual, technical difficulties. <laughs> He's mad now. <laughs> Always. Go make some big fish. See you in 10 years, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Chris got a good one. We got a monster hooked up, y'all. Keep him out of that freaking. I'll get over here and help you, Chris. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad we decided to stay. I am too, man. Woo! <laughs> oh. Keep him out of this damn timber. That was a thread pin too. Woo, look at the tail on that thing. God, man, that's a good fish. Did you loosen this one up? No, no, that's got a fish on it. Oh. Woo! Look at that beast! Holy shit! Ready, Chris? Golly, that is a big shallow water fish. Look at that freaking monster, Bill! Do not lose it. Scoop him, dude. Oh, Woo! 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 Oh, Holy smokes, dude. That was worth the wait there. Woo! Oh. We got a big one. <laughs> oh, dude. Woo! That's a freaking monster. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. Woo! <laughs> Good job, Chris. Woo! Oh God, look at that! One. Look at that one. There was a big one right here. Oh my God, dude! This thing's got some serious power. He about broke my wrist. Dude, I just spooked one right there when I cast. They're up shallow, so he, he probably got spooked when I'm starting hooting and hollering. Oh, 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 oh. never mind. This one's running. He's running. He's oh, running. God dang it. Is he off? Yeah, he's off, man. He ran all the way across. Holy that was smokes. A, that was that freaking monster that's that surfaced. That's the one that circled right there. God dang it. Around some big fish. Let's just uh, put the drag on a little all right. tighter. All right. On all these. 
Greg. Let me move this net for you, Kurt. Bill just missed a freaking monster. It was a big fish too, man. God dang it. We got this one though. <laughs> what a toad. Toad city, man. Woohoo! <laughs> Victory! Yeah! Let me weigh this thing. <laughs> ah, it paid off. I'm going to keep on saying we're about to move because every time I do, we get bit. Toad City, baby. Uh oh. later monster Get out of here that was freaking awesome boys <laughs> hey that was <laughs> that was worth the wait buddy <laughs> Bill uh, perseverance man we've don't ever give up buddy we've been grinding this one's back don't ever give up because you never know buddy oh that's good. That's the tank. Dad, okay. we, we, I'm good. Another beast. Good job, yeah, baby. Dad, Bill sucks up. Keep him out of those logs, Bill. Oh my gosh, that's a monster. Bill's got a monster. Dad was playing in the trash can. Oh, you're running at me. Dad was playing in the trash can. Bill's got a monster, boys and girls. Can I throw this in the lake? Can I throw this? Careful, careful. Dad, can I throw this in the lake? No, you may not. Spot of fish. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Holy smokes, Bill. Chris, Let me get the net. Chris, Chris never, hang on, Jackson. We're right there, buddy. Oh. Hang on. Hey, Jackson, come over around here. Oh my gosh, Bill! That's a monster, dude! Daddy. I think that's a female. I don't know, but it's big, whatever oh. the hell it is. Look at it. Yeah, look at the head. I think that's a big male. Fish in the net, baby. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Beast. This is the kind of fish. Right there, did she come out here? Black sucker. Oh. Hug it, Bill. Put this arm all the way around it. That way you, if it flops, you won't drop it. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> she is something else, man. <laughs> Fishing with a zool never disappoints, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chris. Woo! <laughs> Toad. <laughs> Daniel says, way to go, Bill. <laughs> way to drop it, Bill. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whew. Hey, boy. <laughs> you missed it. I did, he got me with water and I smacked him in the face. <laughs> <of that laughs> 6.5. 6 Call him 40. Woo. Double 40s. Oh, wow, Dad, Chris, get him, get him. Get him, Chris. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I don't know why the drag's so damn light on this one. Oh. <laughs> Woo, Jackson. <laughs> Woo. God. God. <laughs> Yours up closer there so that I can see. I can never get a hold of the damn thing. <laughs> it's about to kill me, man. Woo! Head's out of the picture. There it is. There it is. Yeah, baby. 
<laughs> that was good stuff, man. Good job, crew. Better get that right. fish, man. Let's release these bad boys. Show it up before you drop it in there. There you go. Oh. Woo! Oh, too good. Oh, easy. I'm not taking my fish. God, this fish is a crazy fish, man. Hey, get out of here, Billy. This one too. They're excited. See you later. Monster. Now if we can just get one over 50. <laughs> Boy, that'd be just a bonus, man. First little bait as we've had today, man. You know? I mean, we've been on the, we were on the struggle bus getting bait, the struggle bus finding yeah, fish. Yeah, you know, when it's that hard to get bait, it's usually the fishing's not all that yeah. great. Um, me and Chris are doing something different today. I'm going to have Chris explain to you exactly what we're doing because it's different than when you've seen us fish in the past. Uh, we're basically on a spring bite. Uh, tra transition is in full effect. We've got a big warm-up today. It was 56 when we started. Supposed to be 93 today, 94 degrees. So we started out in six feet and we started marking good fish. We didn't catch anything. We what did we catch down there? A couple eaters? Maybe, yeah. A couple eaters. We got pecked to death. And uh, I knew as the day warmed up we were gonna go really shallow. So we moved up in here where there's a little more protected water, where the cold water is not blowing out of the main lake. And uh, you know, the water up here is 67 degrees it was 50 what was it this 59 morning? i think 59 uh, about 300 yards back so we moved up in here it started getting warmer and uh that's where the fish are they're up here in this warm water and chris called this he called it man he said that there were those fish were stacked up back there but they weren't eating yet as soon as we moved up here we started getting bites um, we are sitting in like two foot of water. I've never caught big blue cats like this in shallow water. Chris says they'll run to the side. And uh, you can see the rod spread right there. Like if I zoom out, that's exactly what they did. Had one over here and he ran all the way across. And then we got a couple of big fish already. 240s, huh, yeah, Chris? Yeah, 240s. So, <clears throat> if you're looking in the spring... That that would be good advice, huh, Chris? It's yeah, old. yeah. For the next month, this is the, this is the pattern, and even for the next two months, possibly the next pattern, the same pattern. Um, thread fin will be flipping around 68, 70 degrees. Uh, that can change some things, but um, you just you know get up here where you could find the warmest water in the fishery. Uh, usually, like the main lake was 53 this morning. And when the further north that you go, the shallower it is. It's muddy up here. The muddy water warms up faster. And uh, that's where the fish want to be. They want to be comfortable. And uh, this is a it, total, totally different deal than drifting. It's uh, we're anchored up here. We've got a double anchor to keep us from spinning and drifting around. And we're basically anchored up in less than two foot. Yeah. You yeah. can see these big catfish roll out there as soon as you hook we're them. We're in 1.9 feet. It's it's the most amazing thing ever to see one. We've even seen a couple before they actually took our line. Yeah, yeah, which that was, was cool. It, it was freaking legit. So, um, Chris, thanks for bringing me out today. Anytime, buddy. Uh, Anytime. I've experienced several different new ways to fish with Chris, and this is a, just another one, man. The guy knows his blue cats. Uh, yeah, if you we, haven't yet, subscribe to his channel, Elgato Azul TV. Um, Going to be an up-and-comer in the blue cat world, he, <laughs> even though he's been doing it for 40-plus years. But uh, pretty new to the YouTube thing. Huh, yeah, yeah, YouTube. I'm in, This is my second year, but I'm only about really five months in to doing these. Dude videos. knows his blue cats. Got to watch. Y'all keep an eye on him.
Hey, how you doing? You know how, baby.